Hello everyone, hello my friend, happy to see you on my channel MathMo. Today we have an interesting problem, we need to simplify this expression. We have square root of square root 36 minus square root of 20 and we need to find our answer. How can we do this? First of all, we know that square root of 36 equal to 6. So we can start with this one. So square root of 36 equal to 6 minus square root of 20. So on the first side, this 6 is good and it's, it's how it is, it's good right now. But this square root of 20 we can write as 4 times 5. Yes, so we can write it as square root of 6 minus square root of 4 times 5. And right now we need to know a really good, a really good property, a really good rule, because right now we can separate these square roots. We can write it as 6 minus square root of 4 times square root of 5. So we can write it in this way. So let's go next. We have this expression and we need to simplify this, of course, more. What we need to do in our case? First of all, we know that square root of 4 equal to 2. So we have 6 minus 2 square root of 5. So this is our, our expression that we have after this simplifying step right now. But what are we going to do next? I'm going to show you a really good trick because there's not like a like a formulas of a general solution right here. So we need to, to know a really good trick right here. Let's write this 6 from here. Let's write this 6 as 5 plus 1. So we have 5 minus 2 square root of 5 and we have plus 1 in the end. So 5 plus 1 6, so this is the same as right here. But moreover, I'm going to show you a really good trick how can we, how can we solve it. Under this expression I write a formula. So a minus b square to the square power. So identity that we know. So we have a square minus 2ab and plus b square. So this is this is our identity that we know really really well. And under this identity I write this expression. So we have 5 minus 2 square root of 5 and plus 1. So on the first side nothing common between this and we, between this one. But if we do two steps right here, I will show you that this is the same thing because right now as if we write this 5 as square root of 5 square, so if we write it in this way, so we have minus 2 times this square root of 5 and times 1 or square root of 1 and this one we write as square root of 1 square, we can easily see that this is our identity from the beginning. So we have b square, we have our 2, we have a, we have b and we have a square right here. So this is an identity. This is a minus b square, square root a minus b. So we have square root of 5 minus square root of 1, I write as 1, so square root of 5 minus 1 square. And let's go next. I hope you understand this step. This is tricky moment right now, but I hope you understand this explanation. So we have square root of 5 minus 1 square, we have square root, we can easily cancel this, and as a result we will have square root of 5 minus 1. But a lot of students do this mistake because we need to write absolute value right here, because we don't know the sign of this expression. And square root of 5 is greater than, than 1, because we have like square root of 4 is greater than 1. And moreover, square root of 5 is greater than 1, so this absolute value is positive 1. So as a result, we can, like, don't write this absolute value, so we will have square root of 5 minus 1. This is our, this is our answer. What do you think about this solution? Write a question in comment, write a suggestion in comment. I try to help everyone, and if it's not hard to you, please leave a like and write any comment. I really appreciate it, and you support my channel. If it's not hard to you, I really appreciate it. Thank you, and have a great day.